You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only has Rosie several... O'Donnell. For the record, it was well beyond Rosie O'Donnell. Yes, I'm sure it was. Your Twitter account has several disparaging comments about women's looks. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her on her knees. Does that sound to you like the temperament of a man we should elect as president? This country is in big trouble. We don't win anymore. We lose to China. We lose to Mexico, both in trade and at the border. We lose to everybody. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me, but I wouldn't do that. But you know what? We need strength. We need energy. We need quickness and we need brain in this country to turn it around. Mexico is sending many killings, murders, crime, drugs pouring across the border, our money going out and the drugs coming in. And I said, we need to build a wall and it has to be built quickly. And I don't mind having a big, beautiful door in that wall so that people can come into this country legally because our leaders are stupid. Our politicians are stupid. And the Mexican government is much smarter, much sharper, much more cunning. And they send the bad ones over because they don't want to pay for them. They don't want to take care of them. Why should they when the stupid leaders of the United States will do it for them? And that's what's happening, whether you like it or not. As far as single payer, it works in Canada. It works incredibly well in Scotland. Hold on one second. I, I, a news flash. I know. Hold on, Senator news, Paul. News flash. The Republican Party's been fighting against a single payer okay. system for a decade. So I think you're on the wrong side of this if you're still arguing for a single payer I'm not, system. I'm not. I don't think you heard me. You're having a hard time tonight. All right. Let, Mr. Trump, you talk a lot about how you are the person on this stage to grow the economy. I want to ask you about your business record. Trump Corporations. Trump corporations, casinos and hotels, have declared bankruptcy four times over the last quarter century. In 2011, you told Forbes magazine this, I've used the laws of the country to my advantage. But at the same time, financial experts involved in those bankruptcies say that lenders to your companies lost billions of dollars. First of all, these lenders aren't babies. These are total killers. These are not the nice, sweet little people that you think, okay? You know, I mean, you're living in a world of the make-believe, Chris. You want to know the truth. This country right now owes $19 trillion, and they need somebody like me to straighten out that mess. In 1999, you said you were, quote, very pro-choice, even supporting partial birth abortion. You favored an assault weapons ban as well. In 2004, you said in most cases you identified as a Democrat. Even in this campaign, your critics say you often sound more like a Democrat than a Republican, calling several of your opponents on this stage things like clowns and puppets. When did you actually become a Republican?